Well hello YouTube, it's uh, December and it's almost Christmas and I've got a nice parcel um, an early Christmas present let's say you have to excuse the voice um, I'm just fighting off a massive major cold so uh, I'll do my best to get through this <laughs> but um, uh, what I've got to show you today um, is this little something I ordered a couple of days ago I've been meaning to get around to doing it for a while it's more of a safety aspect more than anything really um, because at the end of the day you've only got one set of lungs so you must look after them <clears throat> so I'll um, bring you over and show you what I got so like I said I ordered this a couple of days ago 48 hour delivery I think it was on the inside I don't know if you can see that there <clears throat> it's my new um, battery powered mask um, this one's from Axminster um, there are a couple on the market um, but I went for this one and I'll explain why in a minute so let's get out of the box and uh, let's have a look very nicely packaged um, I also bought some free filters as well and these will extend the life of the main filter um, and I think these four I think they were about um, nine pounds for ten so um, you got five sets there inside this is this is the box this is the storage box so obviously <clears throat> once you start using this you want to try and keep as much dust from the inside out of it as much as possible so they supply you with this little plastic box which is a really good idea I think um, as soon as you finish with the mask you put it back in the box you secure the lid on and nothing can get actually inside it, inside the mask um, there's the mask itself um, it's got a battery pack with a charger uh, so you've got a powered air, head protection, impact protection because this is a bump cap. Well, number two, is, that's the bump cap, um, cap part of it. And you also get a charging dock, which is this piece. And um, a set of filters. So we'll uh, break the seal the first time. He says. There we go. We'll open her up and we'll see what we got. We've got a nice piece of foam protecting the top and there is the, the unit itself that's one side and inside the box um, checklist here somebody's been through and checked all those all these items in the box before delivery I think that could be the warranty booklet actually here's the um, instruction manual and it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, but seven or eight languages there. And it's um, nicely illustrated with some nice pictures. Uh, so you exactly how to use the, um, the mask, how to charge it, how to store it, how to test it. And we'll get to end that in a minute because this, this is it's a flow test. Uh, and you fit this on the inside of the mask, you start it up. And it will give you a pass or a fail, let, telling you that your filters need changing. And uh, we'll run through that in a moment. So there's your uh, instruction manual. Also in this box we have that's the charging dock for the battery. Um, you get the charging cable for the battery charger that's obviously comes with a UK because that's where I am a UK socket adapter but it also comes with some European and American Canadian so we have the cap or the mask I should say in the bag 
Um, most Bobcat design there. <clears throat> all, overall, it looks quite nice. We'll uh, remove all this. Don't need this. This is just to protect it, to stop it getting scratched in transit. There's one on the outside, and there's one on the inside. They can both come off. On the rear is the battery pack, which is there. And that just clips on the back and is plugged in there, like so. Uh, got the terminals there that fit in the charger. This is your on-off switch. And you can hear the motors sucking the air through, but it's not too bad, it's not very loud. Yeah, it looks um, fairly nice. Quite impressed with that. And uh, all these components actually do come apart, so you can actually clean it individually every now and again. And you can buy <clears throat> you can buy new batteries, you can buy new new cap, you can buy obviously the filters, you can buy um, a new glass visor. Um, there are some turners, wood turners that use these, and you know sometimes wood turners they they lose their piece. It comes at the truck chuck and it smacks them straight in the face. But if you've got this on it, it's going to put a nice scratch in the visor. Rather, but then that's a good thing. Rather have that than it across your across your face. And then um, I don't think it's very expensive, but you can actually replace these if you act, if you damage it or scratch them. Um, just inside there, I don't, don't know if you can see that, but um, just inside here, there's the little aperture for the flow meter, uh, and that will tell you how much of a flow that's coming through through here through the filters down onto the face. Um, and obviously, and as as these get clogged up, the less flow you're gonna get through here. So that gives you a general indication of when you need to change your filters or change perhaps the pre-filters that you bought. Because obviously, you want to try and keep these as clean as possible. And I think the idea is you should remove this and you put a pre-filter on top of the filter that's there, and then reattach. And I'll, I'll have a look at that in a minute. But um all in all i'm quite pleased with that nice bit of foam inside on the rear there's a adjustment strap and that's adjusted just like so it's got a nice little plastic end so you don't you're not fiddling with it everything it's for the worst thing i find with straps like this is you've got it on the back of your head and you're fiddling around with it and you accidentally pull that through well, you can't do that with this because it's got a little little stop on the end of it, which is another good little feature, I think. Obviously, been well thought out. Um, there's there's actually inside there's a size guide inside, and this is 53 to 63. I don't know whether they make other sizes. Um, but there's some more information in there about what sort of um pressure this helmet this bump cap would take obviously um it's up to some sort of safety standard i don't know i haven't looked must check that out in the book but um hopefully i'm not going to be smacked on the head too many times with things in the workshop that would be very good but yeah so far so good quite impressed with that so i'm going to pop the mask on now um just with the general breathing this is going to steam up and then I'll turn on the airflow and you'll watch it demist. And um, I've just tried it, it's pretty good. So let's pop it on. It's uh, steaming up quite quickly now. Let's turn the unit on and you'll see it just go away. Um, fits rather nicer in the face. Very comfortable. And to be honest, you don't even know you've got it on your head. Yeah, thumbs up. It's pretty good. So I don't know if you can see, but I've got the glasses on now. I need the glasses for reading and close-up work. Uh, obviously, the, the mask is steamed up. My glasses are steamed up. 
this is always one of the problems when you've got one of the small masks on your face with the glasses sat on top <laughs> you know you couldn't see what you were doing and it was it was more dangerous because your fingers were near the, the blades or near the um, sanding belts and you just couldn't see what you're doing even though we're trying to protect your lungs with these small breathing masks but um, let's just pop this one on so I've got um, there you go so I've got the glasses on and the visor is still comfortable I can still see what I'm doing you know, I can see close up work and I'm protected fully protected We'll just take the battery off now and uh, we'll put it in the charger and see what that looks like. So we can move the battery pack like that. Put the back the helmet to one side. There's the charger. I have noticed there is no LED or anything on here to show that it's powered up. On the plug there is a green light and once that is placed in the charger the green light actually comes on. Um, on the plug but there's no LED here to say that the battery's being charged or whether it's fully charged or not you can buy these separately these batteries if you so wish to um, but the manufacturers recommend that you wear these right down from day one and then you charge it for at least 16 hours so uh, that's the next job is to charge this one for 16 hours I'm going to have to put it in the mask and leave the mask running until it's flat and then recharge it obviously these batteries have a memory and um, that's why they want you to do that just quickly go through the um, filter side of it basically just unscrew these it's quite easy you remove the outer case and there's your pre-filter obviously it comes with a set of pre-filters but I've bought some more for later on um, make cleaning and keeping it um, keeping it clean and fresh easier and then these screw back on Could be simpler really easy one thing to note with this unit it is obviously only a dust mask um, this will not filter vapors um, <clears throat> of things like glues um, gases um, these are purely and simply it's dust mass and dust only for this unit so I hope this uh, video has been of use to somebody um, I did have a look online when I was trying to decide which unit to buy um, there's not that many videos out there there's a few from the company itself but you know they never gonna tell you very much anyway do they um, but there wasn't that much information really to be found um, there seemed to be a lot on the trend system um, the trend power flow I think it's called um, but at the end of the day they both do the same thing it depends on which one you want at the end of the day I suppose but this is the one I chose um, <clears throat> like I say I'm, I'm, I'm really quite happy with it price we haven't talked about price yet these aren't cheap but then um, how much do you put on a pair of lungs you know you've already got one set of lungs so let's be sensible look after them um, and that was a sh about 200 pounds for that system um, but then like I say how much you uh, what price do you put on your lungs um, then it is a lot better than the th what, what I was using before and now I'm starting to go through <clears throat> a bit of steel I'm, I've picked up pace a little bit um, <laughs> since the last my last build I've got three or four other knives on the go now and um, I'll be putting some videos up of those shortly I've done an awful lot of work in the workshop um, probably going to do a workshop update as well at some point and um, I've just received this week a load of leather making equipment and um, tools tooling um, for sheaths so once that starts um, after Christmas sometime um, I'll be doing a video on my first sheath, which will go with my first knife. Um, so, um, like I say, I hope this video has been of use to somebody who's out there looking for a system like this. And um, I'll catch you all on the next one. And don't forget, stay Cornish. Cheers. Bye.